By September, the River State Government House Chapel of Everlasting Grace will be one year. The chapel was conceived and constructed by the River State Governor, Yeso Mezon Wiki, as a place for heavenly worship. There was none in the Government House Portacad at the time Governor Wiki took over. On Sunday, August 12, 2018, top government officials and prominent indigents of River State gathered at the Government House Chapel of Everlasting Grace for the Medin Musical Concert of Praise and Glory to God. It was an event of praise to return all glory to God for his blessing and protection for the outstanding administration of Governor Wiki. However, this special program coincided with the unfortunate demise of the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Honorable Emmanuel Agumasan. Therefore, the program started with a minute silence for the peaceful repose of the soul of Honorable Emmanuel Aguma, wife of the River State Governor, Justice Eberichi Suzette Yeson Wiki, took the Bible reading from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 12, and Philippians 4, verse 4 to 7. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and cross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. It was a night of selected classical Christian songs and worship music by the Government House Patakat Choir. It was conducted by Honorable Enitem Yala, a classical musician. The choir performed a midlayer of rivers indigenous songs to the glory of God and the admiration of the congregation. The atmosphere was pious and the presence of God was obvious. The River State Prayer Song was also performed by the Government House Patakat Choir. Other popular Christian hymns were also performed.
compass for the musical concert engineer Francis Nemir Boker and barrister Winifred Wanady introduced the event, emphasizing the need to lift River State to go through quality praise and worship. There were three outstanding solo presentations at the Medin Musical Concert of the Government House Potakert Choir. The first of such presentations came from Mr. Peter Bema, a blind singer who thrilled the congregation with his mastery of the keyboard and his vocal ability. He was backed by the choir to offer a splendid experience in the presence of God. Saturday, despite being physically challenged, exhibited God's gift to humanity. She lifted the congregation with her song, rolling back and forth on her wheelchair. She sang with the joy of the Lord and was completed by the congregation. Eighty-eight years old elder Richard Harry was like the icing on the cake. His solo presentation underscored the fact that nobody can be too old to praise God. The music conductor Honorable Enichang Iyala also brought down the presence of God as he led one of the administrations. Speaking at the event, River State Governor Yeso Mezonwiki thanked the Government House Patakat Choir for the first class administration. Let me first of all thank the choir for this beautiful musical concert this evening. He said on the premise of the request of his wife, the music concerts by the Government House Patakot Choir will be regular. He announced that graduates amongst the choir will be offered employment through the River State Civil Service Commission. Those who are not working, let us have your name so that very soon the Chairman of Civil Service Commission will be in approval to employ over 10,000 River State people. So, so, so. He said the employment will enable the choristers focus on serving God through music ministration. Brother God telling me that look, she needs more of this from time to time. She was just telling me. In appreciation of the contributions of the River State Governor to the establishment of the Government House Patakat Choir, a plaque of recognition was presented to him. The presentation to the River State Governor was made by an octogenarian, Mrs. Beatrice Opua. She lauded Governor Wilke for his commitment to God. For you to have built this here and the way it is, I speak with the voice of an ancient. Because you have done all this and you have shown the love of God, certainly he is before you, he is behind you, he is by you, and you fear no fool because he is there with you. Another award of appreciation was handed over to the wife of the River State Governor by the chaplain of the Government House Chapel of Everlasting Grace, Venerable Sunday of Para. We will be encouraging us. So we present this as a token of law. We believe this will encourage you to do more. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
and Itian Iyala, music conductor of the Government House Potakat Choir, assured the group he will continue to grow stronger because they are committed to the service of God. People to know that money is not all. It's about really praising God. And I tell you, it's been working out for us. As the congregation left after the benediction, it was obvious that everyone is looking forward to the next edition. For an administration that is anchored on God, it is always necessary to connect with the divine source as it heads to 2023.